after stocking up on golf balls on the side of the road, another very TIA moment right there, we're on the way to Selborne Golf Course. We're a couple of kilometres out. We've been driving for hour and ten, something yeah, like that. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so another south coast venue, again, pointing out just how many golf courses there are in this relatively small region of South Africa, just south of Durban. Um, I'm expecting this to be completely different to what we played this morning at Wild Coast. This is one of Richard's favourite venues in South Africa. So looking forward to seeing what it's got Special place. up its sleeve. And I might not make it around all 18 holes again. We're arriving fairly late in the afternoon with the sun going down around 5.30ish. So that's something to bear in mind if you're coming to South Africa at this time of the year. Uh, it's almost May right now, so late April. The sun does start to drop in that late afternoon, early evening time. So when you're scheduling your tea times, keep that in mind. Yeah, stay tuned. Have a look around this amazing golf course and then, oi, be quiet Google. Um, and then we'll show you around the hotel later as well because we're staying on site here tonight, which is nice and convenient. Good afternoon. I'm good, how are you? We're checking in today and we're playing golf as well. It's unreal, a real gem. Drop more birds off. Yes, please. Thank you, sir. Pleasure. Breaking into the sack. 120 rand for how many balls are in there? Uh, <laughs> can't even count them. You've probably got about 15 balls in there. Not too Pretty bad. Pretty good value, that. So six pounds bought off the side of the freeway for about 15 premium golf balls, which I think have been hit once and lost. Not too bad. TIA. Yeah, exactly. You may as well just give them straight back to those ladies. <laughs> and it's just after we spent what was lunch? Three burgers. Four drinks. Fifteen pounds. Fifteen pounds. I might just stay here, boys. Yeah. I don't think I'm, I'm, I might miss I my flight home. Incredible weather, incredible value. <laughs> yeah. Stunning courses. All right, let's see what Selborne has to offer. Comfortably in bounds, I would say. What kind of wildlife do we get in this area, Jason? I mean, obviously we saw some monkeys earlier. It's just uh, like roaming, so you get impala, buck, um, and those guys around here, but some serious snake action in the trees and the bushes. What kind so. of snakes we got to be talking? Mambas, obviously. Mambas. Green and black? Um, all sorts. And then there'll be adders around here. Uh, there'll be the occasional python, um, and then a couple of harmless ones, but typically the, the bad guys. Ah, okay. Stay out of the trees. Yeah, that's the plan. Another bomble. I'm gonna try. I mean, I, all I can see is the lake on the left again. Right, another six point game in action. Jason, three putt par on the first four points. Thank you. Two for me, zero for Tidders. We'll come back that way. Good Sorry. again. High draw bombles, order of the day. Right. right then, Rose. Fifth Red so. Bull of the day. Yeah, but he's counting. Give me an extra few yards. Got to do something to stay awake in your company. <laughs> so great shot. That is a putt for eagle. Solid. Little lefty, so I think it's losing some yadas, but losing a few right. yadas. Yep. 
South African yadas. How many yadas to the pound? <laughs> Just about, pretty decent at the moment. Go on, titties. So, what Mr. Tidman doesn't know is that Jason and I have packed a toy snake in Jason's golf bag. And with any luck, we'll be able to sneak it down near their buggy when Richard's playing a shot. And uh, hopefully, having now planted the seed, talking about the types of snakes you can definitely get out of this part of South Africa, we might get a little reaction out of the little lad. So there's quite an interesting history behind Selborne. There's a local farmer called Dennis Barker who acquired the Selborne estate back in the late 1970s and it took him and his son 10 years to turn it into the gorgeous little parkland course that it is today. And apparently that started a bit of a trend with landowners in South Africa. So good job Dennis because all the other courses we've played so far have been... Come on then, get in. Oh yes! Yes sir. Ooh, four pointer. Yes, please. So, four for me, two for you, and zero for titters. So, that's six all, is it? Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Seating up. <laughs> I'm in a game. Oh my god. Swing. So, the signature hole, as I've been reading up on the internet, comes early in the round here at Selborne. Third hole, par five, down the hill, gently dog-legging from right to left. Apparently it gets pretty tight up near the green. The outer bounds all the way down the left and the view from the tee up here is pretty damn nice too. Let's go and check out and see what happens down by the green. So unfortunately, I hit my first tee shot right into the jungle, quite literally the jungle. But boomed the second one, um, and I'm just out of range in two, I reckon, or four, <laughs> because playing slightly into the wind today. But as you can see, when you get down to the green, severely downhill, it gets really, really tight in the layup. So if the wind wasn't blowing straight into, I reckon it'd probably be safer to actually have a pop at the green because it looks like there's plenty of space down there. There is water short, water left and water long, but the green's very big with a little bit of space around it. I'm gonna be forced to lay up now though because of that wind. So this needs to be an accurate shot. It's not just a thoughtless bunt down the hill. Luckily, I found the left half of the fairway with the layup. Perfectly positioned now, pins on the right. Uh, I'm in the left half fairway, so playing away from the water on the left. So, requires a good wedge shot, and as we all know, that is my specialty. So, up and down for a six, no problem at all. So, you may have heard some giggling after I hit that one, and I've avoided the water hazard by about a yard on a good 30 yards left. So somehow I basically snap hooked a little punchy pitching wedge. I mean, at what point do I just start hitting putter from 100 yards and in rather than attempting the wedge shots? Embarrassing. Love that, mate. Shot. So, a par with the second ball, which isn't too bad after pumping one into the jungle on the right. But this is kind of sums up what Selborne's all about. According to Richard Tidman, obviously I haven't seen much of the golf course yet, but very parkland in nature. And again, for this south coast region, so different to where we were this morning, completely different to San Lemire where we played yesterday. So the fact that they got such a big concentration of golf courses in this region 
just south of Durban and they're all so different, just makes this area absolutely perfect for a golf tour. One, two, five, you say, Tidders? One, two, five, yeah, pin uh, tucked down there to the left hand side, so it's all carry. Gorgeous little par three, though. Lovely par three, I here. think, judging by the look of the slopes, like penal missing short, missing right is going to leave a very tricky shot, bunkers at the back. Yeah. In and my it, mind, it's another classic example of why he's in, you know, most of the best par threes in the world are little short iron shots, aren't they? Definitely, yeah, yeah, you know, it's all about accuracy, it's yeah, not you about go to Europe and you get these 220 yard brutes, yeah. one after another, it just gets a bit tedious, and then Absolutely. you have something like this. It's a bit fiddly. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Let's have a crack at it. Okay. Fly. Go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a good. nice easy one down the slope there, really. <laughs> I think I just proved the point I just made on camera. <laughs> Gorgeous shot. Pin seeking. Come back left. Oh, go in. Good shot, mate. Yeah, great shot. Well done. Excellent. Right, obviously just to only illustrate the point I was making off the tee, I'm now left with an absolute death chip having hit it pin eye, but not accurate enough. And again, in my mind, that is what par three should all be about. Get the opportunity to take on a pin if you're decent with your short irons, but if you're not, like me, then you could be left in a spot of bother. Very well played there. Caught in French. Good four. <laughs> Stopped it. <laughs> 200 yard shot? Yeah, 200 yard shot. Maybe a bit more. Oh, not that. <laughs> Maybe a bit more. Or less. Maybe a bit more. Maybe a bit more. Maybe a bit more. Keep that one off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was tight. Can't shot, wait to see that one. Press strike, Ross. Yeah, good. Do or die, Mr. Tidman. Do or die. You going for it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. What are you doing? Just snaking a short line down slap, there. Slap one up there, yeah. Just snake one down there, snake bro. Snake one down there. And try our hand at getting up and down from over the lake. I think. Yeah, good shot. Jeez, very good. Yep. Should leave you about a wedge in, I guess. Another one of those. Another one of those. Absolute stunning hole. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Sorry, mate. Where did you get that from? Don't worry, this is one of those harmless ones that Jason was talking about. Say hello to Trevor. <laughs> Trev. <laughs> Got me. Got me. Oh, <laughs> uh, we woke him back up. Look, he's happy now. <laughs> Just snake one down there, Tidders. In the right hand rough off the tee on the fifth, and the stunners just keep on coming here at Selborne. I was totally not ready for this golf course. Absolutely amazing. I can see why Mr. Tidman loves it so much. Um, and I did say when we arrived here, I might even be able to play nine because I might get, get back to the hotel and do some editing, but this carries on. Sod that, I'm finishing all 18. So I've totally picked the wrong club off the tee there. And if I'm gonna get a par and hit the green, I'm gonna have to go four iron, four iron. Over the water. Splash! 
I guess after that snake prank, I deserved to find the drink with my second. But in hindsight, I wouldn't be hitting four iron there. I did flail a little bit high and right, but I think stinger two lead me more, more towards the bottom of this slope and a much shorter iron in. But just look at the view behind me. Oh my God, Selborne. Just stop it. What a stunner of a golf course. So before I came out to South Africa, I posted a little poll on Twitter just to get your guys' opinions on what makes a good golf course or a great golf course in your eyes. Now the four options I posted on the poll were conditioning, layout, scenery slash location and other comment please. Now as I expected conditioning won by a landslide getting 52% of 1,834 votes. Layout and scenery were pretty much neck and neck with 25 and 20% respectively and other barely got a mention. And scrolling through the comments things like history and prestige and stuff like that rarely featured and there were some really good suggestions in the comment section so I'll post the link to that tweet in the description of this video if you want to have a little scroll down maybe you can contribute your opinion too. But for me and of course this is totally subjective I think location slash scenery is such an important foundation for a great golf course. You look at the courses we've been playing here in South Africa and the location and the topography is just basically the, the foundation of giving that designer slash architect a platform to build a great golf course. And if you look at the holes we played here at Selborne with all the undulation changes, the amount of water on the course, it's just unbelievably spectacular and I think that makes for a great round of golf is when you have to take into consideration those elevation changes, slopes, pitches, things like that. And then of course even if you're having a pretty bad day score wise playing in a beautiful place like this is never a bad thing. Let me know what you think in comments down below on what makes a good golf course or a great golf course in your opinion. Just a little disclaimer before anyone jumps into the comment section and has a little bash. I'm aware that all of those ingredients contribute to the overall experience on these good or great golf courses. I'm more asking if you just had to pick just one, just one, which would it be? Has Africa broken you? Ah, uh, Savannah's did. <laughs> there he is, Trevor. <laughs> Keeps getting him, doesn't it? <laughs> Keeps coming back to the buggy to get his club and freaking himself out. It's just a toy, Richard. It's one of the harmless ones. <laughs> Great shot, Tiddles. That was a long day. Um, fair bit of driving, not as much as the other days. A little under 27 holes of golf, um, both absolutely stunning golf courses, and we're on our way to check in to the Selborne Hotel, which looks absolutely amazing. day it has been. I thought I'd just treat myself to a little wind hook, you know? Nine holes played here at Selborne, just checked into the hotel. What a lovely place this is, by the way. Absolutely gutted we're only spending one night here. I actually misheard the receptionist when I was checking in. She said you'll be spending four nights here. Well, she didn't say that, that's what I thought she said. And uh, yeah, then I spoke to my colleagues and it's just the one night, so a bit disappointing there, but 
Absolutely fantastic day. Loving our time here in the South Coast uh, area. Moving on again tomorrow though, I think we've got venues like Fairmont in Bali and Durban Country Club coming up as well as a couple of others. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video, give you some sort of idea about the flavor and the feeling here at Selburn and at Wild Coast this morning. Um, so if any of you are thinking about doing a Durban slash KwaZulu Natal province golf tour, you get a good idea of the golf courses that you're going to be playing when you get here and what's on offer away from the golf course too. Um, again, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the rest of South Africa tour because as I said, there are some more excellent courses coming up. Cheers. This absolute stunning hole again. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, this is one of those harmless ones that Jason was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> now they allow you to Trevor. <laughs> Tre